Could humanity one day travel faster than the speed of light? For over a century, this idea has seemed impossible. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the speed of light, about 299,792 kilometers per second, is the ultimate speed limit in the universe. To break it would require infinite energy, a scenario far beyond our current understanding of physics. This limitation presents a significant challenge for space exploration. Even traveling at the speed of light, reaching the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, would take over four years. Exploring distant galaxies and discovering habitable planets would remain a distant dream. But what if there was a way to bypass this speed limit? What if we could manipulate space-time itself and travel across the universe in the blink of an eye? Enter the Alcabier Warp Drive a concept straight out of science fiction, but one grounded in theoretical physics. First proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994, this drive suggests that faster-than-light travel might not only be possible, but achievable through the warping of space-time. Imagine a spacecraft riding a wave of space itself, where the space in front of the ship contracts, and the space behind it expands, pushing the ship forward without violating the cosmic speed limit. In this exploration of the Alcubier warp drive, we'll dive deep into how this theoretical engine could propel us faster than light, the science behind space-time manipulation, the enormous challenges we face, and what the future of space travel might hold. To understand how a warp drive could bypass the speed of light, we first need to revisit the basics of physics. At the heart of the problem is Einstein's theory of relativity. According to special relativity, nothing can travel faster than light in a vacuum. As an object accelerates toward the speed of light, its mass increases exponentially. To propel it further, more and more energy is required. The closer you get to light speed, the more energy you need, and the object's mass becomes infinite at light speed itself, requiring infinite energy, an impossible feat. This isn't just a theoretical concept. It's backed up by experimental evidence. Every particle accelerator on Earth confirms that particles require exponentially more energy to reach higher speeds. This reality makes interstellar travel a daunting challenge. Even with our most advanced spacecraft, traveling beyond our solar system would take tens of thousands of years. Why is the speed of light so important? Light speed is special because it's the fastest that any information or energy can travel through spacetime. Any attempt to move faster faces the same problem. Time itself would behave differently, and the consequences would violate causality, the principle that cause precedes effect. So if no object can surpass this barrier, how could warp drive make faster than light travel possible? Here's where the Alcubierre warp drive enters the conversation. Miguel Alcubierre, a Mexican theoretical physicist, proposed that there might be a way around this light speed limit by not moving through space at all but by moving space itself. Instead of propelling a spacecraft through space at faster than light speeds, the warp drive creates a bubble of space-time around the ship. This bubble would compress the space in front of the ship and expand it behind, essentially bending space-time itself. The ship inside the bubble would be stationary relative to the space around it, but would be carried along by the warping of space-time. Think of it like riding a moving walkway at an airport. You're not running, but the ground beneath you is moving, allowing you to reach your destination faster than if you walked on your own. In the case of the LQBR warp drive, you're using space-time to carry the ship, allowing you to move faster than light relative to the space outside the bubble without technically breaking the speed of light. To understand how the LQBR warp drive works, we need to delve into space-time manipulation. Space-time, according to general relativity, isn't a fixed entity. It can be bent, stretched, or compressed, depending on the presence of mass or energy. Imagine space-time as a two-dimensional fabric. If you place a heavy object on it, like a bowling ball, the fabric will stretch and bend around the object. This is how gravity works. Massive objects like planets and stars curve space-time, and other objects move along these curves. What the Alcubierre warp drive proposes is that Instead of simply reacting to these curves, we actively manipulate space-time to our advantage. 
by contracting space in front of the ship and expanding it behind, the warp drive would allow the spacecraft to surf through the universe without being limited by the speed of light. Inside the warp bubble, the spacecraft would remain at rest while the space around it moves. This is crucial because it means the ship isn't violating relativity's rule that nothing can move faster than light within space. Instead, it's space itself that's doing the moving. Now this concept sounds incredible, but there's a major catch. The energy requirements for such a feat are astronomical. To create the warp bubble, the drive would require not just vast amounts of energy, but a form of energy we've never harnessed, negative energy. According to the equations of general relativity, the Alcubierre drive would need a form of exotic matter with negative mass to create the necessary space-time distortions. Negative energy isn't something we encounter in our everyday experience. It's a theoretical concept that might exist, but we have no way of producing it in significant quantities yet. Some scientists have speculated that quantum field theory might allow for the existence of negative energy in small amounts. The Casimir effect, for instance, shows that negative energy can arise between two closely spaced plates in a vacuum. However, scaling this up to the level required for a warp drive would be an entirely different challenge. The amount of energy needed to power a warp drive would be equivalent to the total energy output of a star, or even more. This makes it seem like warp drives are far beyond our technological reach, at least with our current understanding of energy and physics. To fully grasp how a warp drive could manipulate space-time, we need to understand what space-time is. In Einstein's general theory of relativity, space and time are interconnected, forming a four-dimensional fabric that can be bent or stretched by massive objects. This bending of space-time is what causes gravity. The key idea behind the Alcubierre warp drive is that space-time itself can be manipulated, not just by massive objects like stars and planets, but potentially by other means, such as concentrated energy. The equations of general relativity suggest that if we had the right kind of energy, we could warp space-time in specific ways. Think of space-time like a rubber sheet. If you place a heavy ball in the middle of the sheet, it will sink, creating a curved depression around it. Now imagine being able to push down on one part of the sheet while pulling up on another, creating a wave that moves across the sheet. This is similar to what the warp drive does. It creates a wave in space-time, allowing the spacecraft to surf on it. This concept is incredibly complex, but the beauty of the Alcubierre drive is that it doesn't break the laws of physics. It works within the framework of general relativity, meaning that, in theory, it's possible. The challenge lies in turning this theory into a practical reality. While the idea of warp drives is exciting, there are many challenges and limitations that stand in the way of making them a reality. First and foremost is the issue of negative energy. We currently have no way to produce or harness negative energy on the scale needed for a warp drive. Theoretical concepts like the Casimir effect offer a glimmer of hope, but they are far from practical solutions. Another challenge is the stability of the warp bubble. Some calculations suggest that a warp bubble might be unstable and collapse as soon as it's formed. Even if we could create a stable warp bubble, we'd need a way to control it. How do you steer a spacecraft that's riding a wave of space-time? These are questions that remain unanswered. There's also the issue of causality violations. If a spacecraft could travel faster than light, it could potentially arrive at a destination before it left, violating the principle of cause and effect. This would lead to paradoxes and inconsistencies in the fabric of space-time. Despite these challenges, researchers are continuing to explore the possibilities of warp drives. Advances in quantum field theory, general relativity, and exotic matter could one day bring us closer to making faster than light travel a reality. In recent years, there have been several theoretical advances that bring the idea of warp drives closer to reality. One of the most notable developments came in 2021, when physicist Eric Lentz proposed a new model for warp drives that eliminates the need for exotic matter. Lentz's model relies on solitons, stable, localized waves that can move through space without dissipating. Lentz's proposal suggests that a warp drive could be powered by positive energy rather than negative energy, making it more feasible with our current understanding of physics. However, the energy requirements are still enormous, and we are far from being able to build a working warp drive. 
NASA's EagleWorks Laboratories, led by Harold Sonny White, is also conducting research into advanced propulsion technologies, including warp drives. White's work has focused on modifying Alcubierre's original equations to reduce the energy requirements, making the concept more practical. While we are still in the early stages of warp drive research, these developments show that faster than light travel may not be as impossible as it once seemed. With continued advancements in theoretical physics and energy technology, we may one day unlock the secrets of warp travel and open up the cosmos to exploration. The Alcubierre warp drive represents one of the most exciting and revolutionary concepts in the history of space exploration. While it remains firmly in the realm of theoretical physics, the idea that we could one day warp space-time and travel faster than light is a tantalizing possibility. The challenges are immense, from harnessing negative energy to stabilizing a warp bubble, but the potential rewards are equally staggering. If we could master warp travel, the entire universe would be within our reach. We could explore distant galaxies, discover new worlds, and unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. For now, the Alcubierre warp drive remains a dream, a glimpse of a future where faster than light travel is no longer science fiction, but science fact. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, who knows what other incredible discoveries await us just beyond the horizon of light.